Hi artists! Today we're drawing self-portraits um, in the style of Pablo Picasso. All you need for this assignment is a black crayon to do your drawing, white paper, and then have some colored crayons on the side to color your drawing when you're done. Okay, I've got my buddy here, Evelyn, with me today, and we're going to be doing the drawing, and we're going to be doing it two times, and you get to pick your favorite one at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yep. Okay. So go grab your supplies and come join us when you're done. Okay. So Pablo Picasso drew and painted his art in an abstract style. It was one of the many styles he's famous for. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a big face shape, but don't make it an oval. Any shape you want is fine. So let me show you an example of mine. And make it kind of big because we're still going to include all the facial features inside of this big shape. So it still should be big, even though it's abstract. Okay, turn your paper over to the other side. And now we're going to draw a totally new shape. Ooh, wow. Okay. So now we need to include two eyes. And when you're drawing your eyes, you wanna make sure one eye is sideways. And one eye is right side up. And they can be different sizes and they can be, um, they don't have to look like mine. So when we turn our paper over to the other side, instead of making your eye in the typical eye shape where it's an oval and a point on the side, you're going to make your eye in different shapes. So maybe these ones you'll do circle eyes. <laughs> and I'm gonna, you think that one's real funny? Yeah. And I'm leaving some space around so that I can color them in different colors because this is abstract, right? Okay, now we're going to include a nose. And remember, this is abstract, so it doesn't have to be between the eyes. It could be off to the side. So I think I'm going to do one nose like this. And your noses can look however you want. They don't need to look like ours. And then I'm going to do one off to the side on this one. <laughs> See, it can be so silly and it's fun and funny, right? Yeah. Okay, now we need to include some ears. And your ears should be different sizes and they should be on different spots of the head. And then flip it over and do two different ones. Good job. Okay, now we need to include lips. And so they can be sideways, really big, really small. Um, it can be anywhere on the head that you want it. So include some lips oh wow that, that's a good one okay turn it over and now include some different lips Now we don't want our paper to look like a floating head on the paper, right? No, that's so silly. This is silly, but that's too silly. So we want to include a neck. So find the bottom of your head and it might be off to the side. It might not always be down at the bottom like Evelyn's and make a, a neck and it doesn't have to be realistic. This can be a big thick neck. It could be a tiny little skinny one. It can be wavy lines. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. And draw your lines all the way to the edge of your paper. Okay, flip it over and do a different one. What? 
Okay, now we need to include some eyebrows up here above sure. our eyes. So you can do angry eyes, you can do big fuzzy ones, you can do sideways ones, little teeny tiny ones, big ones. You decide. Flip it over, do some more. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is include hair. And the hair can be um, any kind of hair you want. This does not need to look realistic. So one side can be super short. One side can be really long. And then when you're done with one side, you wanna flip it over and give your other person a funny hairdo too. Ooh, yeah, okay, flip it over. Okay, now we're done with our drawing. So now we wanna choose which one's our favorite. So look at your two drawings. Which one do you like the most? Okay, now flip it over to the one you don't like. Draw a big X over it. Say, nope. You don't like that one? No, I don't like that one. I like this one. Yeah. Yeah, which one do you like? Let me see it again. Oh! Okay, so now in the background, we wanna pick a line or a line design or a pattern or a shape, and we're gonna fill our background with that pattern. Okay, we're done adding our background details and I really love the details you added to your hair. That was a good choice. We're gonna take our black crayons and set them aside because we don't need them anymore. And we have our basket here of crayons. And now we are going to color our entire paper. Now, when you're coloring, you wanna use abstract colors. So colors that aren't realistic. So it's okay if your eyes have different colors. It's okay if your hair is a crazy color. It's okay if your skin isn't a skin color like purple. You can do whatever you want here. Evelyn, are you ready to start coloring? Yep. Okay, here we go. artist I'm totally done coloring my paper the only white spaces I left was around the eye and that was intentional and Evelyn colored her whole paper too good job buddy give me a high five excellent job today I hope you enjoyed doing this abstract self-portrait as much as we did in the style of Pablo Picasso we'll see you next time artists bye, bye.